Should you take the Google Analytics certificate on Coursera? Is it worth it? I don't know, but let's find out. Hi, my name is Braden and I'm a data analyst. If you're worried about the cost of this certificate, stick around for my money saving tips or just skip to the chapter marked section. It'll be under save money. So about the question, is it worth it? The short answer is I think yes. It's priced competitively. It covers a lot of material. For those who complete the certificate, there will even be job material and coaching available to help you find a job. There are hiring partners and Google is apparently putting their money where their mouth is and going to treat the certificate as an equivalent to a four year degree. The fact that this certificate has been created by Google adds a lot of hype to it. And I think it will at the very least make someone pause when they are looking at your resume and think, oh, hey, Google, I, I know Google. <laughs> so that's a lot of information that they're covering, but let's dig into this a little deeper. What exactly would make this certificate program worth it? What does worth it mean? Is it worth our time, our money, or energy? First, we need to know what outcomes we want to achieve from completing this certificate. Then we can start figuring out if it is worth it for you. I think the outcome most of us would probably want to achieve through this certificate would be either to learn data analytics, kind of an obvious one, improve an existing skill, learn a new tool or an existing skill, get a job in data analytics, get a promotion, or some combination of these outcomes. Let's discuss each of these outcomes and whether or not I think it would be worth it for you to take the certificate. Is this certificate worth it if you want to learn data analytics? First off, this course is intended for beginners, so keep that in mind as you go through and try to figure out if this is worth it for you. If you're just starting out, it looks like the certificate will be a great program for you. I'm still working on the first of the eight courses, but if we examine the syllabi for each of these courses within the certificate program, we can see that you will learn more than just the tools and algorithms of an analyst, but importantly, the skills of an analyst, such as critical thinking and asking good questions. Each of these courses also caters to many different learning styles. There is a video instruction, articles, practice problems, labs, case studies, quizzes, data journaling, and a capstone project. This subject can get dry at times, but the instructors, at least so far in my experience, have done a good job at trying to keep things fresh with different stories and examples. If you do have some experience with data analytics, they also have a speed track that you can take so you can finish faster and still get the certification, which is a bonus. If you're a seasoned veteran of data analytics, there may be a few things you could learn from this course, but I don't think it would be worth your time. You'd probably be better served by getting a book or a course on the specific topic of interest that goes into more depth than just this course that covers the basic fundamentals. One thing that some have been disappointed in is that the certificate teaches R instead of Python. Yes, it's true, but this is fine. The R versus Python debate is really outside the scope of this video, but hey, that sounds like a great video idea to do in the future, so keep an eye out for that. But it really boils down to this. When you're just starting out, for the most part, what language you use doesn't really matter. The number of jobs searching for R or Python are about the same. Certain industries do prefer one language over the other. Python has certain strengths and R has other strengths. What is most important when you're starting out is that you learn the principles behind what you're doing, not just the tool or programming language. If you have a solid understanding of the principles behind data analytics, the tool doesn't matter so much because you will be able to switch with relative ease. Well, maybe not ease, it will still take some time to learn the syntax, but you will be able to know what you need to do and what questions you need to ask to solve problems with that tool. So you can always ask your good friend Stack Overflow for help. The important part here is the tool doesn't matter as much as the actual principles. 
And overall, the certificate provides a good overview of the field of data analytics and teaches the essential skills and some of the most popular tools of the industry. So if you're a beginner or brand new to data analytics, I think this certificate would be a great way to start off your learning and perhaps even one of the best ways at the price point. If your goal is to improve an existing skill, recommending this course becomes a little more nuanced. For an intermediate to advanced level data analyst, no, I don't believe this certificate would be worth it. Perhaps maybe just a course within the certificate. For beginners though, I think it's become pretty clear that taking this certificate would be worthwhile. If your goal is to learn a new tool for an existing skill, for example, if you use Power BI and wanted to learn Tableau, or you use SAS and wanted to learn R, then I wouldn't recommend taking the certificate, but I would recommend taking the individual course that covers that information. If your goal is to get a job in data analytics, it seems as though the Google Data Analytics Certificate is going to be one of the best options at this price point for getting a job. Time will tell, but I'm intrigued and curious about how well this program will perform. As previously mentioned, there will be materials, workshops, and coaching available to those who complete the certificate to help them find a job. There is no job guarantee, unlike other certificate programs out there. However, those programs with job guarantees cost in the thousands to tens of thousands of dollars rather than just the potential hundreds of dollars that this would cost. While there is no guarantee of a job, there are however hiring partners that will hire a certain number of certificate graduates. So yeah, there are 60,000 students enrolled at this time and I very much doubt these hiring partners will be hiring everyone that finishes their certificate. But even if you don't benefit by getting one of these jobs, if those who do get these jobs perform well, it is going to give extra credibility and weight to the efficacy of this certificate and help you down the road. Also keep in mind with MOOCs or massive open online courses, the completion rate is around five to 15%. I believe this stat applies to the free courses, which I would assume if you're paying for a certificate, then the completion rate would be a little bit higher. So take that into account. If you have already had several data analyst jobs or have worked at a single job for many years, I don't think the certificate will really add much value to you and help you get a job. So you may not want to spend your time getting that certificate. If the only reason you would not complete this course is because of the cost, there are two options available to you. First, you can apply for financial aid. If you are planning on going this route, make sure you don't sign up for the certificate program until after you've applied for the financial aid. The process is relatively simple. What you will need to do is share your educational background, income, employment status, how much you can afford to pay each month, why you're applying for financial aid, and explain how taking the course will help you achieve your career goals. The second option would be to audit the courses individually. So you can't audit the certificate, but if you go into the course, you can audit it. If you're thinking, yeah, but if I audit the course, I can't get the certificate. Yes, that's true. But what you can do is audit the course, do the assignments that are available. Some of them won't be available to those auditing the courses. Once you've completed all of those courses, go back and pay for the certificate, complete the assignments that weren't available, and then you can get the certificate. This way may take a little more time, but if money was a big deal for you, more so than time, this could be a good way to solve that problem. Plus, you get a little bit of extra review as you go back through the course and finish any assignments that you weren't able to in the beginning. I'm excited for this Google Data Analytics Certificate. I think it's going to really help beginners to get into the field and do a good job at what they're doing. As I mentioned, I have not completed the entire certificate program yet, but I plan to do so, and I'll keep you posted with updates on my thoughts and experiences as I go throughout it. Thanks for watching.